Hey there. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about how to refine your blog that you have made on Google Blogger, uh, basically giving it a little bit more of an individual touch. So if you've made it before you have any posts and you're looking at it, it'll appear something like this, really basic, most likely. If you want to start changing around, playing with how it appears, come up to design which will take you back to your dashboard. Now on your dashboard, the first thing I would suggest is go to settings. And your first link here at settings is some basic information about your blog, including your title and description. When you made your blog, there's a good chance you might have just given it a really generic title like English 363. You know, and this is a title that um, uh, 20 of your classmates might have chosen as well. So. The first thing to consider is a better title, um, a more interesting title, a more unique title, a title that might grab somebody's attention if they happen to stumble across your blog. How about Feeling Gravity's Pull? It's actually the name of a song I was just listening to, and I kind of like that, so I'm going to go with it. Um, as far as a description for your blog, you don't have to add one. Again, it can be uh, a helpful thing for a potential reader. Ideas from English and life. Again, these are totally up to you what you want to call them, but a title description. The other thing that you'll notice on this page is if you don't like your blog address for some reason or think that you need to change it, you can do so right here. Next thing to do is if you look back over here on the left-hand side again, you'll see above settings as template. And here's where you can really start to mess around with the way that your blog looks. Here it is at the moment, live blog view. If you go to customize right here, the first thing we'll see here again is my blog, how it looks right at this moment. Here's all the different templates that uh, Google's blogger offers. And so right now I'm in the simple category, which I think is actually fine. Now uh, you can get really simple like this, just completely white. Um, you can choose some of these other simple templates that do offer uh, some color, some texture, some designs even this one that has the books on the side. If you scroll along the top here, you can see that there are other possible templates that have um, more representational images in the background. Uh, rain, for example. And you can see there's even more. The one thing that I would caution you against is if you're going to use one of these templates that has some kind of image in the background, just know that sometimes those images can compete with what you write and even be a distraction to the reader. I'm gonna keep mine simple. And I'm gonna just use this very first one that I already had. However, here's the nice thing that you can do with this. If I come back over here on the left, right under templates is background. I can play around with that background if I want to. So I just, let me do that again more slowly. So right here, you'll see background image. If I hit this little drop down arrow, I can click on and start to look at these different patterns, these different graphics, these different images that I can have as my background. And as you can see, there's quite a few categories to choose from. Okay, um, let's go with that one. If I find one that I like, I can come down here and click done. You'll also notice that not only did it change the background, but it also changed the background color of the header. So maybe I like that, maybe I don't. If I don't, the next thing I can do is come all the way down to the bottom here, which is advanced. And if I hit backgrounds, the second one down, you can see I have my outer background, my main background, which is where my writing is going to go. You can see I just changed it from white to gray and my header background, which I just changed to a really kind of annoying neon yellow. So I can play around with this and find the one that I feel suits my blog best. 
and maybe I will go with this. Now, another thing that I can do while I'm on all of this is right now you can see that I have my default font here. This is the font that uh, Blogger just defaults to when you create a blog. It's probably Ariel or something kind of boring like that. If I click on blog title, I have the option of changing the font, which I think I'm going to do. And I can just start clicking on some and see what they look like depending on the kind of mood or feel that I want. One thing, again, that I would suggest is that you stay away from things that might be hard to read or that might be distracting for a reader. So I'm going to keep mine a little more basic and maybe go with, oh, well, we'll just go with that for now. Okay. Uh, if I go right below blog title, I can see blog description and that highlights my description. I can see if there's something that I want to change. Actually, right now I can only change the color. However, if I go to page text, the very top one up here, this is the one that will change both my blog title as well as all of the writing on my blog. So you can see as I click on these, it's changing ideas from English and life. Again, when I say that you want to pick something that is going to be easy to read, here's an example of one that is not easy to read, although I suppose I could change the size of the font. But if I change the size of the font to make this bigger, it's also going to change the size of the font once I start actually writing my blog posts. So just another hand is probably not a good one to go with. Again, you're, you're, the thing that you want to keep in mind at all times is just how easy and inviting is my blog going to be to somebody who is reading it? So I like this. I'm going to stay with this. You can play around with the rest of these and change the colors and font sizes and fonts for all of these different aspects of your blog. Okay, I think this is good for me for right now. And once I've made all these changes, the final thing that I must do is come up to the top right and click apply to blog. If I don't do this, then none of these changes will be saved. You can see it says template applied and I should be good to go. So now if I click on view blog, yes, there it is. So this is what I've now changed it to. Uh, again, there's lots of possibilities here. And so, you know, enjoy seeing what you can come up with. Thanks.